factors affecting shape of a shadow. We have learnt about formation of a shadow. To make a shadow, three things are needed. The first thing is source of light. The second is an opaque body and the third is a screen. We cannot get shadow if any one of these three is absent. When light rays are blocked by an object, a shadow is formed. A shadow can be seen on a screen, for example, on the wall of a room, sides of a building or on the ground. Shadow and light source are always on the opposite sides of the opaque body. For example, when the sun is in front of you, your shadow is formed behind you. Size and shape of a shadow depends on the orientation of the object with respect to the rays of light. In other words, we can say that the size of a shadow depends upon the quantity of light blocked. It is observed that the length of a shadow is larger when the sun is at low altitude or near the horizon during morning and evening time. On the other hand, when the sun is overhead during the noon time, lesser light is blocked and therefore the shadow is smaller. Size of the body A small tree makes a small shadow. A big tree makes a big shadow. When the earth blocks the sun's light from reaching the sky above, the whole sky above us appears dark. Relative position of the light source and the object Make shadow of a ball on the wall of a dimly lit room using torch as a source of light. Change the distance between the ball and the torch either by moving the ball or by moving the torch. What do you observe? We find the size of the shadow increases when the distance between the ball and the torch decreases. Keeping the distance between the ball and the torch fixed Move the setup of the ball and the torch. What do you observe? As the ball and the torch setup moves away from the wall, the size of the shadow increases. Solar and Lunar Eclipse We see solar eclipse when the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. Lunar eclipse occurs when the shadow of the earth falls on the moon.